Dream Cruises presents High Sea Dreams partnered by Times Network gives you an unprecedented behind the scenes look into the inner workings of this magnificent cruise liner with an all access pass to top of the line luxuries and exclusive amenities on board the Genting Dream. It's day 3 of the Genting Dream and we're preparing to arrive at the port city and beach town of Sihanoukville in Cambodia. As passengers head off to picturesque Sihanoukville, there's plenty to do for those who want to stay back. In fact, let's find out about all the activities on board. Board the Genting Dream to keep you entertained. If a relaxing time is what you're looking for. But it's while the ship is docked that its maintenance work is at its peak. So we decided to head out to see what propels the cruise forward and the people who work tirelessly to ensure its smooth sailing. Meet the chief engineer of the Genting Dream, Tony. I've been here on board Genting Dream as chief engineer since May 2017. I'm responsible for all the technical uh, equipment on board. So I have uh, HVAC, I have the machinery, uh, electrical, total propulsion power of uh, 41 megawatts. Total electrical produced power is a little bit over 76 megawatts in total. Total amount of divided on all is about 80 people. I always have one guy running the ship from here. He's assisted with the two people down in the production, one third engineer and one motorman. And this goes on 24 seven. We are in compartment 17. Down here, I have two main engines. And then in two compartment forward, uh, in 15, I have three more. While the crew gets back to prepping the ship, we take the opportunity to explore some of the amenities on board. There's little doubt when it comes to luxury and living the high life. The Genting Dream surpasses all expectations. The Genting Dream offers its guests the exquisite luxury of cruising on the high seas in style with every privilege provided for. Let's talk with the head butler, Alexandra, who's in charge of ensuring that the guests get the creme de la creme experience. So say I was someone who got the palace experience on the cruise. What are some of the facilities and what are some of the luxuries that I can enjoy? At well, this moment, we are in the villa. The palace villa, we have total two on this ship. So total, we have 1,674 cabins for all guests, 142 palace suite and then is including two villa and four penthouse. If you are uh, booked the villa, then you have personal butler service. Okay. Or an another 140 suites, they are having butler concierge service, which one, of course, we are always giving our best to help to the guest and to pamper the guest to exceed guest expectation before everything. Okay. So from the moment when you arrive in the Singapore, then you need to come to the terminal lounge. Some of the butlers will escort the guest to the ship mm -hmm. and then we'll bring to the room, we'll introduce everything how we are doing. So we need to explain you, if you're first time on the ship especially, how, how what you can do, what is in the room, 
which privileges you have. So the big difference between the palace guest and the, let's say, to other guests is that one that you will have much more private life because of the butlers. Butler is the one who can make big difference. Yeah, so if you need any assistance, any reservations, always butler is there to help you. At this moment, we are having two head butler, palace manager, assistant palace manager, and we are having on the reception two staff who is operating day shift, night shift, uh -huh. and the butlers, let's say butler concierge, uh, we have uh, 18. Okay. And each of them, they have a section. If you are uh, handling villa, then one butler is only for the villa. Also, private swimming pool, deck 18, is only for the palace guests. We have also four jacuzzi, which is only for the palace guests on deck 18. If you also book the, the palace suite every day, you have uh, like a free specialty restaurants, oh. set menu for the palace guests. Uh, we are having also uh, Zodiac Theater, is, uh, capacity is 999 for guests, so it's a huge area. Yeah. But for the palace guests, we are having different way, where how we are uh, bringing uh -huh. them on the side like a VIP entrance. Okay. And if you open the door, you will approach to the first row in the uh, for the show. Fantastic seating, the best seating, and we always have blocked uh, uh, seats for the palace guest. When I see the happiness in the human eyes, yeah. this is what makes me happy. The sun, sea, and some relaxing time by the pool. Now that's the dream life. As guests return from their Sehanaquil excursions, the crew of the ship prepare for another exciting evening of entertainment and high dining. Well, there's a whole host of fun things to do on board the ship to tickle your taste buds and your fancies. We've got with us Agus as well as Frank and we're going to enjoy some interesting recipes that you guys are going to whip up for us. So Agus, what is it that you're making? I would like to make uh, Mai Tai. Oh, okay. First, I start with rum. Okay. After that, I use almond syrup, oh, okay. almond liquor, uh -huh. and then pineapple juice. Okay. And top up with dark rum. And now, I would like to... Little bit so something. Show me what you got. That's amazing. Wow. So is the taste of almond very strong yeah. in a Mai Tai? Little bit the almond flavor. Okay. Nice combination with the uh, pineapple syrup. I will a uh, little bit Mixed with triple sec. Is this one of the popular drinks that everyone loves to have? Yes. Yeah. It's a very popular and a very classic drink from Caribbean islands. Okay. Mostly you can have it at the beach when it's a nice and sunny day. Ah, you can enjoy yeah. at the beach bed and you can have this Mai Tai. It's a really good. Oh wow, well cheers to that. Thank you so much. Amazing. Let's take a quick break. Do come back on the other side as we savor some of the most delectable food that Dream Cruise has to offer. From diverse nations joining the Genting Dream, the ship is well equipped to serve a variety of cuisines that suits everyone's palate. There are 35 Asian and international restaurants and bars on board. And the person who's responsible for the absolutely delectable fare of food that we've been eating all the time is with me right now, Head Chef Sefol, who is with us. Hi, Thank hi, you so much hi. for joining in. I understand you've been here for 22 years. Can you tell us what goes on behind the scenes? It's a big operation actually, but but with a kind of a teamwork that we have, a good crew, a good cook that we have, then we are we are doing okay. But it's also depending on the 
what kind of, uh, how to say, the, the sector of what, where we're going also. What are the cuisines that are available on the cruise? Uh, this uh, ship, we have a, we are serving variety of uh, cuisine. For example, we have the international mix of uh, continental. We have, of course, Indian cuisine. We have Malaysian, Indonesian cuisine. Okay. We also have some uh, specialty restaurant like Japanese. We have a Chinese cuisine available also, and upon also upon request from some uh, like Korean, understand. So we also entertain this small small request from uh, our passenger. Um, now, chef, tell us a little bit about the busy times. I'm sure there's times when you know you need to be all hands on board. What are those times like? What's the action in the kitchen? Usually, when we talk about busy, is um. During the ship is alongside when we're taking loading, taking provision in, and also at the same time the embarkation starts. So this is the time that we feel a little bit pressure on the thing. We need to take the loading, the item in, and also to have uh, to serve the passenger who keep on coming in from embarkation day. And during the the normal days, the, the the most busy hours is around now, around the dinner time. So, Chef, I understand that there's over 3,000 people that are on this cruise. Yes, yes. So, um, what does it take to cater to such a large number of people? Like, for example, tonight, this restaurant can fit around 400 or two. Yeah. So, we can, this is the, the, the turnaround seating that we're going to have. I think sometimes we go up to 800 per, per, wow. per night. And it's also divided to other restaurants up in Lido and also the other one up here. You can see here is one restaurant, another one is on top here. Okay. So, we got two layers. And then we have another one up in Lido. We can cater around 1,000, 1,200 average per day. So this is the thing that we're going to, to play around and uh, try to divert the passenger uh, where they, they, they need to go. You know, it's five nights, lots of food that's needed to be available. So tell us about some of the key dishes. What's the most popular on the cruise? For tonight, we have this... Um, uh, roast duck, okay. Long Island roast duck. So this is quite nice, and uh, you can you should try the duck. My mouth's watering already. Can't wait to sample the yeah. food, chef. Yeah. Let's get straight to it. Everything looks so good. What should we order? For the main course, we should try the the duck, the Long Island duck, duck breast. Yes. Oh my God! Looks divine. Delicious. As dusk rolls in and we set sail from Sehanaquil, there's not a dull moment on the Genting Dream. And we've got exclusive backstage access to one of the biggest productions on the cruise as the Sonio cast is ready to wow us with their fantastic performance, let's go behind the stage and connect with the members. Joining me right now is Alexander. Thank you so much for allowing us access behind the scenes where all the action really takes place. To begin with, A Tale of Two Dreams, how long have you been associated with them? Uh, two years ago, me and my team were invited to create especially this show and for two years the show is ongoing. What is the story behind Sonio, mm. the performance that we'll see? It's a performance that combines theater, dancing, acrobatic, mm. circus acts, illusion, and the lastest LED performance. It's a kind of tale about two dreamers okay. that met in little childhood and grew up together through the mystery of dream. So it's a beautiful story that's going to unfold. What goes on backstage? How many performers do you have? What kind of preparation do you have? How does it all happen? It's a very hard job for us because we should practice a lot and the show is just a result of this job. In my team I have 23 acrobats, dancers, singers and kind of musicians. We are happy because we do what we love and then we hear reaction of audience. It's the best feeling of the world.
person who's responsible for all those tantalizing performances is with me right now. We have the cruise director. I am absolutely blown away first up by the Sonio performance. There must be so many rehearsals to get this level of perfection. This, that's right. Well, it's not easy to come up with a show. So the whole process, it starts like they start doing their warm up and everything. It's like about five to six hours of preparation every shows. So it's really a lot of work. They do a lot of rehearsals and every time they try to do some different acts. Most of the cast is coming from Ukrainian and Belarus, Russian acts. So the show is being conceptualized on board the ship. So the process is about like three to four months. So we have a team who works on the show. So we have a LED designers, stage artists, story line of people. So they line up first all the stories, how the show will work. Then we do auditions. Then we come, let them all come to the ship. Then that's where we start with rehearsals. Then we come up with the costumes. So all the costumes you have seen during the show, yeah. it's all done on board the ship. Oh. So it is all being made according to their height, weight, and they cannot get overweight. <laughs> so they had to be on the same weight throughout the whole show. As a cruise director, can you tell us a little bit more about your role? What exactly you oversee in terms of entertainment? This is my 15th year. I started as a crew staff, which is the most uh, basic in the entertainment uh, position. So I've grown up with this company for 15 years. As an entertainment director, uh, we make sure that the programs which we line up on every cruise sector, it depends on what kind of people are cruising. So the age group, uh, the nationality of the guest cruising. So it's all been pre-planned before the guest comes on board. We have uh, two shows which is happens on this theater. Okay. Uh, this is Sonio and we have another show which is titled as Some Like It Hot. Apart from that, we do have a Chinese acrobat performance happening at the Bar 360. That's our another entertainment lounge. Then we have musicians, we have a crew staffs, we have a DJs playing at the zoo. So all of these people are always around the ship making sure that our guests are being entertained all the time. This is one of the show where normally previous times we used to have a dancers and the acrobats, but this is a unique characters. They are dancers and an acrobat. So it's a combination of one. And the show productions, it's all very different from other cruise lines. And I can say that what we got and what other ships don't have is the firework. And it's a special because the firework is actually made of seaweed. So when it goes yeah. to the sea, it becomes a harmful. food for the fish you're in the business of entertaining everyone tell me what you love most about your job what's the most stressful part about it uh, the most love i can say is seeing the people smiling having fun enjoying yeah. talking to them and seeing what are they expecting are they comfortable in the ship as well so we are considered always like a face of the ship so we yeah. are always around the ship talking to the people yeah. seeing how the activities are going on and getting some comments. Some of, sometimes when we walk around, the people will say, oh, I want to dance, can you give me a dance floor? So we arrange a dance floor for them oh, specifically. Yeah. Stress is not that much. It's all about fun and love yeah. to the job. Yeah, and that's exactly what you're giving us uh, with these fabulous shows. You have the weight of all of the entertainers on your shoulders and you're doing a brilliant job. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for joining us. Much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. As another day on the high seas comes to a close, we've got lots to look forward to. In fact, there's going to be a pit stop in Lam Chabang, Bangkok. Also, we'll be exploring all of the special facilities and activities that the ship conducts for mice for the corporate groups. Do stay tuned to the next episode as the dream run continues. <laughs>